Hey guys, Crunchlamp Zero Gaming here, and in today's video, I want to talk whether 343 improved or took away from the Halo PvP system, and especially we're going to focus on Halo 5's PvP system since it is the newest and their most, you know, newest technology and resources in this field. Now, before we get started, I'll cover this in like the very middle of the video, but I would like to say that they definitely did add a lot of menu buttons and a much easier loading time and they had people that wouldn't just like start talking so they definitely did some good things uh, especially to like the matchmaking. Halo had like a stand like when Bungie had it they had a standard matchmaking machine. Uh, and they actually have a better one, like Generator, if you really look at you know, like the skills of it. Unlike they had in Destiny 1, which Bungie made, uh, that is a, their um, <clears throat> player assortment is also slower. So that really just gives you like a big picture of like, so 343, they have a much more powerful, pretty much program and process of sorting everybody, which I thought was pretty cool. And I think I need to uh, mention that before we just start the video. So, uh, as we start, <clears throat> they added a lot of new games as well. So, they added so many new features. They added, you know, like, um, <clears throat> Halo 3 throwback. So, they actually added old games back, which I thought was pretty cool. They, That's so, you know, people that didn't have the Master Chief Collection or, you know, each one, two, or three could actually play the old versions of it, which I thought was pretty cool. And that you don't have to, you know, go between consoles to do it. Now that was pretty interesting from my perspective. Now for some people, they actually really like it because, you know, they don't have to go, like I said before, they don't have to go disc for the disc looking for, you know, the right PvP that they want. And then as for most other things, now we're going to go into just like matchmaking skills. They added a new thing on their menu, and you can either do focus, expanded, or I think it's either focused, uh, or I think it's listed. So one has people that I play on that has just people in your that has like like if I'm rank 52, they'll be from rank 43. To, you know 36 or not 36 sorry uh, 63 and then for other people they can do expanded so you might be playing with some of those like you know like legendary people the teabaggers and uh, those crazy people I really don't like playing with like they're insane like they spend day like they're like the professional like, I don't like playing with professional like these these crazy people so I don't do that and then you can do list or I'm, I don't know if it's list I think it's called something like that and this is you can play in your Wi-Fi zone so it's pretty much saying that it's the honest people that never leave games so if you want to play with people that have a good track record of never leaving games you can play with those people so I thought that was you know pretty nice so now to add on uh, to vehicles 343 added a, a definition you know of new vehicles so that's like my definition of them improving the system so what happens is they added the mantis of course that is one of their things that they added they also added a lot of different so what happens is they would take a ghost that which is normally purple and then they would slap a shade of orange onto it and call it a new ghost and make it have other damage levels. So see what I'm saying? So they kind of did that with tanks too. They made a they made oh, they made their own set of oni stuff. So pretty much it's all like this white, blue, and gray. It's really cool. The oni hornet is like everything oni is pretty cool. Uh, needless to say that they're just a research company. And then this is. I'll talk more about the vehicles in a second, but this is just their social arena. Like, this is their maps. So they have these, and then, and then they have Warzone, and they have custom games. So Warzone is brand new, and I really like what they did with it. They made it so much 
you know, so much better when they started, like, at first it was a little rocky, and then they updated it, and they got it back to, you know, full steam, and they did a really good job with this. They made Warzone incredible, and I love playing it. Um, there are some people that just outright hate it, and I can, I can see that if you just want, like, combat to combat and nothing in the way, but, I mean, it's, it's still PvP, so I guess you just gotta take that into account. Now moving on with just the regular firefight. Now I'm gonna go back into vehicles. What happened was they started to take them and they started to rebrand them and starting to make so like there's like seven different tanks, you know, nine different tanks. Uh, you know, there's like ten different mongooses. And what happens is they put different textures on them. They called them different things. They made them sometimes have different powers, like their Oni, they would shoot like laser beams instead, I kind of already said that. And they would just have so many other weird things going on with them, you really couldn't explain it, like, what was going through their mind at that time, of how they wanted to free format it. Now, I'm glad they, I'm kind of glad they did it, but I mean, it's a cheaper way of saying, hey, we did it. They could have at least added some other design because once they did they just recolored them so I guess if you read between the lines it is changing the appearance of it but I will st I still would have liked if they added a little bit more that would have been pretty nice so then going on to did 343 make this game better or didn't make it worse it made this game better in the sense that they gave it so many new ways to play it. Now, am I mad that they took away the old graphics and now that the floors, you know, aren't stained with, you know, blood and it doesn't really look lifelike? Yes, I mean, they kind of will look kind of crazy now, but I mean, they did improve on the sound effects, but, you know, that was for the entire game, too. What 343 really did is they really focused Halo 5, not so much on the story, like, they screwed up on the story, but they did a really good job with their PvP. Um, let me know in the comments. I, most people say that they're into the video, but yeah, do let me know in the comments if you think uh, they should have changed something with their PvP or if you think it's all bad, but I think that most of this is, you know, pretty good, and I hope that most people like it. You know, they kind of, like, did more with this than other games. So let me talk about the Master Chief. So what happened in this game is they made their PvP insane. Now, what happens, how it works, is you go in and you check that it has the right, like what you want in a game. Do you want it to be Capture Flag? Do you want it to be Onval? Do you, Oddball? Do you want it to be Warzone? So then you get to, or not Warzone, you know, where you capture the areas. And then what happened is then you get put into a server and you find, so you'll be labeled, you know, like A, B, A, you know, like that. And then if you find another A, then you'll be linked to that A and they, you know, the, these two A's, they both want a capture the flag on the map, bloodline, uh, 10 minute timer. It, it's crazy now and they do have a lot of people playing that. So I can see why they added it. Now, as for some people, they don't like it because it's also hard. And if you have a really unique order you want to play in, it can get a little crazy. It's good to just stick to the basics. Like, I want to play Capture the Flag, uh, pick the map random so other people kind of decide. Or you can play actually straight off their maps. Like, they actually still have something like Halo 5 you can do. But for finding unique characters, they do that. So they really did do great on Halo's uh, Master Chief PvP in the new update. Now what I hope they do is they bring that to Halo 5 because there's also a lot of, you know, multiplayer PvP players on that game. So if they could just bring them the same software, that would be great for a lot of people. So uh, to answer everybody's question, did 343 Industries make Halo PvP better or worse? Honestly, with everybody's opinion, they made it a whole lot better in terms of menu. Now, some people might disagree with that, but that's kind of just like 
people. So I don't know. That's not so shady. People. Yeah, people. They liked the way that they formatted. Now, people hated the story along with me. I, I'm in that group too. The story was pretty bad, and I hope that they improve it in Halo Infinite. They didn't even have ODSTs in the game. ODSTs, people. Come on. So, going back, just wrapping up what I was saying. You know, they did wonders for, you know, the gaming community. Because most people, if they Twitch stream, they don't Twitch stream people. They don't. They don't do it, you playing it. What the hounds is they stream doing uh, you know, multiplayer. They do it Warzone. And, you know, that's kind of interesting. A uh, neat concept that people had is <coughs> that no matter you know, what it is, you'll still be over to ever. You'll still be able to find a game. You know, no matter what, people always want multiplayer, no matter, you know, rain or shine. So I don't really think they screw, they can't really screw up that as long as they don't take away from the PvP. So people will kind of always be happy, I guess, no matter what's in store. Anyway guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we guys just know that uh, Halo <clears throat> pretty much their, you know, their social games, their competitive games, and their Warzone, and their custom games, and their Forge on Halo 5 are that's a lot better than it used to be so they did improve and they especially improved the graphics that's a big one because this is what you used to play in but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope I see you guys in the next video please subscribe if you want to see more Halo content and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys